there are some beautiful spring iris out there. This one, Catherine Hodgkinson, one of the earliest to come out into flower, really, really super. And what I love about this is that you can grow it in a container and you can put that container somewhere at the front of the house where you go past all the time and it sits there and it looks fantastic. These have been through the frost and they've come back. Look at them, this gorgeous marking here and just this ethereal blue and yellow it looks fantastic they're not very tall not tall at all and then what happens is once they finish flowering their foliage comes up once that has happened that's the time to go and decide where you're going to put them in the garden and they're brilliant in gravel gardens or somewhere where it's quite sunny but put them somewhere where you are going to see them because they come up they last for about three four weeks and then they will disappear below ground level leaving their foliage there which will then feed the bulbs and then they will produce and make larger sizes. So this is Catherine Hodgkinson, the earliest of them. And then you go on to this, look at this beautiful sort of midnight purple, absolutely gorgeous. And that yellow stripe down there. This one is Joyce, really sweet one, just a little bit later coming into flower. So you can have them carrying on and be sequential through the spring. Really great plants. There you go. Iris and that one is Catherine and that one is Joyce. Really lovely little things. And as I say, have them in containers, put them somewhere and then plant them out in the ground. This is the time of year when a lot of the bulbs, you know, you may have thought about buying allium bulbs and you've gone and put them into the ground, but sometimes it's actually better to buy them in a container like this. Look at the amount of root that has been put on by these plants. Lovely, really super white, healthy root there, which is growing on nicely. This form is purple rain and it's got a lovely purple tint to its foliage here. Now, one or two of the bulbs in here are young ones. They won't flower this year but the bigger ones will flower and again you can go you can put them in the ground where you want them and that is an ideal way of doing them so that is Allium Purple Rain and then this one Allium Sphericephalon a lot later into flower so this one the Purple Rain is going to flower sort of June maybe into July but probably June time and then Sphericephalon which is known as the giant chive and it really does get quite tall when it's in flower doesn't flower until July and so it's a lot later and you can see its leaf is a lot lot thinner again it will have produced some really great white root here absolutely ideal time to buy it in containers and then put it out into the ground at least this way you know that the vermin haven't eaten it so the voles and the squirrels have not dug up your bulbs you're definitely going to get flower on them. Allium purple rain is going to produce lovely purple flower heads which are just a little bit bigger than a golf ball but smaller than a tennis ball. It is going to flower at somewhere about 50 to 60 centimetres high, therefore it is for the front to the middle of a border in a sunny spot, free drained soil, and that's where it really likes to be. And then you can split up your bulbs and move them around and get more or just buy more each year and keep on adding to your borders. The Allium sphericephalon, I did say is much taller. It's a slightly different shaped flower head. It's more of a cone shape and it starts purple at the top, a green at the bottom with its buds and then gradually opens up and becomes completely open with a purple flower, but much more a drumstick cone shaped flower. This is going to get up to somewhere between 70 and 90 centimeters tall. So it's for the middle to the back of the border. It spreads very, very well by itself. So it's a really good form. It is a species type so it can seed around a bit. Really great for later middle summer flowering borders. If you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will get weekly videos which will give you tips which are great for your garden. Thank you for listening.